This is a video review of the Transformers Studio Series Age of Extinction Rimlock. Now this is actually the Buzzworthy Bumblebee Target exclusive reissue Grimlock. As you can see, got the instructions for it here. It says Buzzworthy Bumblebee. This was the first leader class to come out in the for the Studio Series. Uh, back in the day, when it originally came out, I didn't want to get it because it just seemed like a mono-colored repaint of the old Age of Extinction Grimlock leader. Then, as more Studio Series figures came out, and I was interested in getting some of them, I regretted not picking this figure up. It's It's been shelf-forming for... was shelf-forming for quite some time back in the day, but I never picked it up back then. And then when it was impossible to find its value shot up on the aftermarket so i'm just glad if this got a reissue as you can see it's made of this i mean it's colored in this nice gunmetal silver color which is cool and actually it actually comes packaged with a horn down but you can you're supposed to flip it up i'm not sure if i don't remember if the original came like that but it looks cooler with the horn actually up it's got a nice wrecking ball too just like a bulkhead and contrary to the way the arms are angled you can actually lift these up they do feel a, a little wonky it's not so bad once you start um messing with it if you get like ratchets to the sides and up and There, which is really cool. You don't see that with many Transformers nowadays. As well as in the knees. Uh, get a little, some ankle pivot. Uh, not as much as you'd expect from a figure nowadays. Of course, it could do this up to about 90 degrees. Bicep swivel. Uh, you get, the shoulders can go up. Uh, go out, in and out, seems to be on a ball joint, yeah, so overall, pretty cool, love the color, got some great details, but it's not actually as complicated as you might think it is when you start transforming it, the details are impressive, uh, nonetheless, I really like the double dino head, uh, even though one's technically fake. You got this like a hip skirt which inner hinders articulation a bit, but you can get them all the way, although I don't care much for that being there. Let's see. Claws on the feet look awesome. I like the spike on the knees. And on the back of the elbows. Which is pretty cool. Getting a pretty nice head sculpt. Probably the most detailed head sculpt out of any movie Grimlock figure. So yeah. Cool. And even the back looks nice for a Studio Series figure. Well, the first Studio Series figure. Even though there are some, like, school... Well, there's not, like, a whole bunch of kibble showing in the back, or a bunch of hollow parts. Um, well, it is hollow here, but there's not many hollow parts showing. Yeah, so all in all, love the color, love the details. It's got decent articulation. I really wish I picked this up when it first came out. I'm transformed. What I do is, unfortunately, I was hoping this might um, open up to reveal a different arm, but it doesn't look like it does that. So, but it does, but there are seams because it says unfold for the transformation, I think. It's supposed to.
the Stino head down. Then for this, claw head up. Get the head forward. Get the horn down a bit. You want to pry these legs apart. It does take uh, some force, but you should get them apart before uh, anything's. It's not like you'll break anything. It'll come apart. Oh, with uh, not too much uh, pressure. You want to get this tab into this slot on the side. Just want to get the waist guard up. It doesn't like tab in or anything, but you know, just get it up out of the way. Then you want to get this um, elbow uh, piece in into this uh, space right here. Should you should feel a click in does require some pressure, but. Done it right, you should feel it going in. Let's see if I've got everything supposedly lined up correctly. Yep. Get the little dinosaur hands down. Line up the lower jaw with these slots on the bottom. My th ink it. Right, so get this stuff out of the way. I think this goes back. It's tucked back here. Now you may think this is done, but not quite. So you want to get spurs in here. And want to get the um, break this apart. I want to get the I want to get the dinosaur leg forward a bit. And put enough pressure here. Clip this in. And here's Grimlock in his. What should this have in? Uh, dinosaur mode. I'll probably just keep this in a robot mode, anyways. Once I get turned back. A nice jaw right here. Uh, articulated arm. This would be on a ball joint at the shoulder. Um, there's not an opening to do. Uh, lift this up much. And of course the leg pretty much retains the same articulation as it did in robot mode. Head is uh, not much with the tail. Uh, this is, if you're familiar with Kingdom Megatron, this is pretty much very similar transformation to that. Except the head comes from the shoulder instead of the forearm. Pretty cool looking uh, dyna mode. Uh, Head very accurate to how it looked in the film. Um, and of course, it's all gunmetally silver, like in the movie. It still retains much of the detail it had in the uh, robot mode, although it feels like it could be better. Uh, for one thing, I think, wish this piece tabbed in somewhere. It keeps flopping down. But overall, it's a cool dinosaur mode.
Then we can transform back. Get these down. Want to get um break this apart. Yeah, I love a uh, hip rotation here. It starts to uh go toward the back if you use that hip um that hip rotation. Anyways, continuing on. Also for got uh I made a mistake at the beginning of this video. I just honestly just transformed this before I started. Video, I think the, the heel spur in the dinosaur mode is supposed to be the front in robot mode. Then thighs into place. Unfortunately, this can, the front skirt section can pop off, unfortunately. Um, you should be able to just uh, push it back in. Straighten this leg out first and see if. Yeah, voila, it's back together. Um, sure how to deal with this. You can sort of collapse this. And I not remember how to do the elbow bit. Oh wait, now I think I remember. This piece around. Claps this together. The shoulder back up. Get the wrecking ball back into place. Um, and as you may have guessed, simply a matter of getting the head out. And here it is. Horn up. In his um robot mode. It's more centered the middle here. It's all in all a great figure. Uh, good transformation. Uh, there are some. There's a certain sequence to it. Nevertheless, which is why the skirt piece popped off. Still fun. Good transformation. Very similar to Kingdom Megatron. I love the silver and the details on the figure. Cool rocking ball. And it's got decent articulation as well. Please like this video, and if you do, please subscribe to my channel. That's it for my review. Bye.